Today we are so thrilled to have with us Knoxville's Poet Laureate, Black Atticus, that is your stage hey. name. Also yeah. Joseph Woods, thank you so much for being here with us. We yeah. really appreciate it. I'm glad to be here. You, to be here. you took over uh, as being Poet Laureate from Ray Carmen, of course. Tell us a little bit about what that position means to you. Oh, wow. Um, well, the, the position means to me that, that we're looking at a city that's, that's, that's mind state is, is changing. Uh, choices are changing. They, they actually changed the rules in order for me to be Poet Laureate. Uh, I think officially you had to be more traditional. Hmm. And since I'm, I'm more of a slam spoken word poet, um, most of my work is out loud and meant to be said out loud. So hmm. uh, that through the years of work we've done, I'm sure with Rhea being kind of, being able to dance through both, uh, she kind of helped open that door. And uh, apparently they've been wanting me to be the Poet Laureate for a while. Hey. So, well, yeah. they made it happen. Everything, everything in due time. For everything sure, time. for sure. So you just said you're not really a traditional guy. You do spoken word, you do slam. Yes. Um, you're one of the founding members of the Good Guy Collective. Yes. First of all, tell us what that is for those who are unfamiliar. Uh, the Good Guy Collective is uh, just that. It's a collective of individual artists. We came together. We are uh, practitioners and representative, representatives of the principles of hip hop, mm -hmm. which is peace, fun, love, and unity. So if those aren't involved, we aren't involved in the event. So we've done that. We work with nonprofits, schools. Uh, we create platforms for young voices whether it's poetry or hip-hop just give them a chance to say something and then um, try to build bridges between them and like maybe nonprofits and organizations that are trying to reach the community we are the bridge sometimes when did you at what point in your life did you sort of turn to poetry and hip-hop as a form of artistic expression Wow Wow uh, raps always been around um, I, was, I was a fan before I really realized I was gonna be an actual an artist, a, pr a practitioner of it. Mm -hmm. So hip hop's always been there, and that was my introduction really to poetry and the dance of words. Um, but then uh, I, was, I say probably college. College got real serious around college. Okay. Yeah. And obviously you've yeah. been doing some great things ever since. Oh, yeah. We're gonna hear some oh, of yeah. your work coming up later up in the show. Cool. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it.